What is going on guys? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all doing well and having a really great day. Beautiful day out today. And it's definitely springtime. Found this little guy in my driveway. The amount of turtles we get during the spring and summer months is crazy. This guy's tiny. Damn, he hatched early this year. But anyways, if you guys know in the last video, we actually ended up... Um, getting both of my 6000 xps together in parallel and they're working fantastic i got these solar panels as you can see right here up and running i'm getting this little guy to the woods because the birds hawks actually swing down and they pick them up on my front yard literally consistently so i usually just walk these things back to the water let me just go drop him off real quick so in the summertime or springtime when they actually come out to lay their eggs this is like a path right here you can see down to the water that these like 40 pound snapping turtles come out and lay their eggs. This one isn't the snapper, but they come out and do that. And I just saw a frog jump in the water. All right, little guy, there you go. Good luck. You know, it's kind of nice just taking a second, look around and like check things out outside, you know, get outside, touch grass once in a while. Anyways, while I make my way back to this uh, video, why don't we hear a quick word from today's video sponsor? Crypto Miner Bros is the ultimate destination for all of your crypto mining needs. Founded in 2018, this company specializes in top quality ASIC miners from brands like Bitmain, Goldshell, and many others. Whether you're a newbie or a pro, they offer competitive prices, fast shipping, and easy payment options worldwide. Pay with bank transfer, Bitcoin, or even other cryptocurrencies, no cash needed. The prices you see on their website include taxes, shipping, and DDP to your door, so there are no surprises at checkout. Join tens of thousands of satisfied customers who trust Crypto Miner Bros for their hardware fulfillment, transparent prices, and world-class service. Check out CryptoMinerBros.com, link down below. All right, so where was I? Talking about the solar panels we actually just hooked up and the 6000 XP we got in parallel downstairs. Now we're gonna go over my results and what I actually have on today in this video. So as you guys can see, these things are kind of halfway shaded right now, right? So each string, the bottom and the top are getting utilized probably by about four of those panels, right? It's not crazy, but once the sun gets up over these trees, it'll, be, uh, it'll shade the first section first and then second section on the top last and we'll be getting a uh, full bore sunlight but as of right now i'm getting quite a bit i think about 6,000 watts or so so you can see the pergola is taking in 6,000 watts right now charging the batteries and dishing out 2600 and then the other side the shed is only pulling in about 500 watts it says it's still putting out 2600 watts because it splits the uh load evenly between the two units and yeah it's pulling some from the batteries too either way the batteries are charging i'm getting plenty from the pergola and i'll just get more throughout the day with the shed getting in the sun now i have literally everything in here on in the shed which is or in the solar trailer rather which is very um unlikely i usually don't have everything on i usually only have like this guy on maybe a couple box miners during the day but now because i have both of those units running in parallel and all of those panels i think i have 32 total running consistently during the day i'm able to run all of this stuff which is freaking wild let's actually see this thing should tell me how much uh wattage i'm pulling uh 4.66 kilowatts so that's 4600 watts that is freaking amazing. So I got the AL zeros on, got the KS zeros on, got the, uh, this is the uh, commemorative edition. I got an ultra in here. I got the AL uh, box two plus. I think that's what that one is. Then I got the AL box two original unit there. I got the ice server uh, KS two light, which is amazing up and running the EDG one M. I got um, the jazz miners on these three right here which are freaking amazing. The X16Q, the X4Q, and the, you know what? My X4-1U was actually not on. I just jumped in here and turned it on. I clearly fat fingered that and missed the uh, on button for that one. But either way, now that'll be a half hour from now turned on and mining ETC as well. So I actually have those three solo mining ETC on, uh, I think the Hero Miners, if I'm not mistaken. But regardless, the whole point of me showing you guys this is I'm pulling now with that actually running about 4,800 to 4,900 watts in here, which is crazy. Literally about 5,000 watts for free from the sun. Freaking amazing. Let's go check out the parallel units down in my basement, shall we? All right, look at that. Let me turn on the rest of the basement lights so I can see in here. All right, 
let's see. So in here, on top of the 5,000 we're pulling in the trailer, we actually have 774 watts pulling through this Nerd Gears PDU. Shout out to them. This thing's freaking amazing. But I got the AE Box Pro running in here as well as the Mini Doge 3 Plus running in here. Freaking awesome. And uh, yeah, these are my two 6,000 XPs. You guys can see these are both communicating together. Now I do have a few things I still need to wrap up in this basement, like those two lines right there. I actually do need to get them into this box. I found some of those push button connectors in my shed yesterday. These guys right here, that's what you're supposed to use to uh, terminate through the bottom if you don't have like males and stuff like this. So I'm gonna be putting these in the top of the panel there. I gotta get those wires in there. And I do need to figure out a way to get the wire from the trailer. So I got this 30 amp breaker going to the trailer, right? That is uh, that wire right there that's landed inside the panel, this guy. Now I wanna get a meter in here for or somewhere here for the trailer so I can see how much exactly the trailer is pulling instead of uh, having to go out there or try to you know check my phone whatever just so I can know when I only have like 200 watts running overnight versus you know the 5,000 watts I got running now so I'm not like worrying if I forgot something I could just like walk in here and glance at it and see and I don't have to like log into the app or the uh, the web browser on the phone and all that stuff because I gotta like VPN into this thing right it doesn't just work I have to VPN my uh, Dream Machine Pro I gotta go to the uh, local IP and then I gotta log into this thing and it's just a little bit of a process it's not a huge deal but it's just one of those things an extra step for me right uh, so yeah that is that and we need to figure out how we're gonna do it now I do have two meters one here and one here and they're both reading the same exact thing Thing. I really think I'm going to swap out this meter box um, or if I don't swap it out at least take the drop meter and get that wire that's going up right now to the trailer into this box and then back out of this box to go up in where it needs to go to the trailer right I think that's probably the best way to do it and then just to use this one for the trailer reading even though it's not going to be reading this outlet itself and uh, I will use this obviously to manage what I'm actually pulling in here. So it's either that or I cut in a square right here and I put a drock meter right here. But I don't know, opening this door every time I wanna look at it, really not a huge deal, but not ideal, right? What would you guys do in this situation? Would you replace this drock meter right here or would you just leave this thing alone and figure out another way? I mean, I could, it sucks. Like I could slam a box like that against the top of this panel and have it literally right there reading at the face maybe. Actually, that might not be a bad idea. I have to get another drop meter, but if I put that, hmm, let's see, let's see. Something like that. I guess that wouldn't be a big deal, right? I mean, if I just had the wire pass through it like that right on the top. I mean, that's kind of ugly though. Kind of looks a little jank. Yeah, that looks a little messed up. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? That's kind of weird. I don't know if I like that. I think I would rather see an extra wire come out of the side of the panel and go up to another box, maybe right here. If I did that instead, probably a good idea, right? I just took this and maybe put it like here. But I need to get like a... Maybe a different box. Or maybe I just liven up this plug. Or I don't liven up this plug. I just leave it blank and put a meter here. I don't know. Weird. You know what? I actually could... Um... Man, I don't know where it is, but I had those home um, 120 volt meter boxes where it was, uh, they were both square. So it was like a square here and a square here, drop meter and a regular wall outlet. If I could find that, it's like a black box. I could actually wire a 120 volt outlet that I actually would like to have in here anyways just to run anything that I need to run off of 120, off of solar. Um, it could be tied into the same circuit as the trailer because I really wouldn't be pulling much off of it. The only thing I would really run is like these little lottery miners that I actually have off right here. So I would run these off grid over at the uh, setup right here if I actually did set up 120 volt outlet. I think that might be the best bet, but now I gotta locate those boxes. I don't know if I'll be able to find them in today's video because I'm not sure if I actually left the, uh, what's it called, those outlets in the trailer with the old setup or if I took them out. I can't remember. And you know what? I actually got to get a 120 volt outlet out here as well because I need to turn on some of these exhaust fans. I can't keep the trailer uh, back door open there and I got to throw that freaking door out. 
Oh, you know what? I got one right here. This is the box I was talking about. All right, so I have I have a string of these actually. Where the fuck are they? Um, no. Oh, they're right here. Ah, there they are. Okay, so I need to. I'll remove one of these guys. Man, I couldn't remember I put these here. I'll remove one of these. I'll just have to unwire it and uh, take it out of this like three pack because I actually have the wire running through all three of these and. Uh, yeah, that's gonna come out. So we'll be taking that and I'll put that next to uh, that spot downstairs. I think that's perfect. Yeah, guys, this is freaking awesome. I'm so happy. I am so happy right now that everything is up and running inside this trailer. Again, about 5,000 watts in here. The only thing I really don't have on are these three iPolos here. Well, these three, uh, I have two mini Doges and one Sia Miner. I actually sold four of my mini Doges a couple weeks ago. And uh, yeah, I'm not regretting it. I mean, it sucks that those aren't there anymore, but now I have room to put this guy right there. So I'll have to do that at a later date. All right, so let's, um, I guess, you know what? We're gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna come back in a little bit, probably a couple hours. I wanna wait until this solar shed is getting completely nailed with the sun. It's still a little bit shaded up in the top corner, as you guys can see right about now. The whole bottom is uh, almost all the way in the sun and obviously as the earth spins different seasons the trees actually shade this a little bit more but right now this thing's almost getting nailed fully so let's uh yeah let's come back in like an hour or so when it's like noon time and we'll see what this looks like all right about two hours later we are dead in the sun with both of these units i'm getting close to 5,000 watts out of this guy and we're getting 6,000 watts out of the pergola this is all working fantastic guys i'm super excited i do still need to ground this shed though i haven't done that so it's definitely not safe you should absolutely ground all of your stuff so i gotta ground the panels and the uh the breaker box or the disconnect box surge protector box whatever the hell you call it that's inside there but uh man this is fantastic so yeah just about uh again almost 5,000 watts in here on this guy as you can see four 0.92 so 49.20 for wattage that is freaking amazing guys let me know your thoughts on this entire setup are you guys trying to go solar with your mining stuff let me know down in the comments below if you guys are interested in anything solar signature solar use code chump 50 for 50 dollars off your first order or any order over 500 if i'm not mistaken and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace out